Hello, I am presenting a case of phaco emulsification of white dense cataract. I started with 2.4 clear cornea incision injecting my drain, but unfortunately the pupil doesn't dilate it. And here you can see staining the anterior capsule using the dripan blue underneath the air bubble, then injecting dispersive OVD. You can see the pupil is slightly dilated with the uh, OVD injection. Here you can see a liquefied cortex underneath the anterior capsule, so I prefer to do the double rexes technique. Here is the uh, small rexes. You can see aspiration of the liquefied cortex to decompress the intralenticular pressure using a 23 gauge needle. Here is also uh, go through the paracentesis in both sides to complete the aspiration of the liquefied cortex and to decompress the whole intralenticular pressure also you can see i am rotating the nucleus to press the liquefied cortex behind the, the nucleus to aspirate it as you can see now i do complete the compression of the intralenticular pressure using the micro scissor to do a small snip and here you can see the second large rexes you can see the edge of the large rexes is go parallel with the edge of the Bupil. Now I have about 5 millimeters capsule rixes. Here is the uh, vertical chopper that I prefer to use in dense cataract using 27 gauge needle. Now shaving the uh, epineucleus. Then you can embed the phaco uh, probe in this dense nucleus. Then do a vertical chop. It, but you can see there is no complete separation with this. Uh, movement now hold again the uh, other part and do a vertical chopping of this dense cataract also i think the separation wasn't uh, completed you can hold again and chop again as you can see in this movement i rotate the nucleus then i hold the uh, part that i can see and chop it with this sharp uh, 27 gauge needle and in this point it's very important to be careful not to catch the iris while you are doing chopping of this dense cataract now i hold this piece and emulsify it at the level of the pupil you can see the pupil starts to constrict and you can see the cataract is very dense you can hold and chop and cushion should be uh, taken to avoid damage of the posterior capsule by the sharpness of the needle tip here is you can see the last pieces you can push the iris slightly by the needle and hold and do emulsification of this dense cataract here you can see the end of emulsification and it's important to take the needle out before uh, the phaco probe out from the anterior chamber here as you can see there is no much cortex as the cortex was liquefied i'm using uh, by manual irrigation aspiration to uh, remove the cortex then I am injecting a cohesive OVD to form the capsular bag in order to implant a single piece hydrophobic IOL. Here is the IOL inside the capsular bag and I am using the irrigation aspiration probe to adjust the IOL inside the capsular bag and in the same time to wash the OVD in front and behind the IOL as you can see to prevent the spikes of uh, uh, high intraocular pressure postoperatively and it's very important to do a, a, a current by the end of the surgery in the antechamber in order to check if there is any hidden pieces in the angle i wish this video is useful now on the first week you can see the cornea is clear and the vision of this patient was improved to be 2028 20, and thank you for watching